So, Halloween is cancelled this year because nothing anyone would do or dress up as would be as scary as the actual year of 2020. So, 2020 wins this year. When's Halloween? So, in light of there being no Halloween, something I've always wanted to do is do Trixie Mattel makeup. So Trixie Mattel is a world famous drag queen with a passion for makeup artistry. <laughs> she's one of my favorite drag queens of all time. She's up there with Miss Cracker. Oh, also Devon's here, so they're gonna be heckling me. Today, I'm gonna be following one of Trixie's videos um, to try and apply that makeup artistry on my face and see how close I can get to being Trixie Mattel. I have to I become like Trixie. Her. I have to become Trixie Mattel. I'm not gay enough though. Like, Imagine if I just show up in full sweat gear, like sweat so joggers, sweatpants and everything, like full face. beat mug. And they're like, hi, I would like to buy some tampons and some makeup removal wipes. It's been a rough day. It's been a week, <laughs> my guy. The video in question that I'm gonna follow is the uh, Wet n Wild Redemption video. Colors and the final look vibe I'm using is actually from the Ookie Spooky makeup video she did recently, but she doesn't do like the full iconic tiny lid look in that one, so I'm gonna be following the Wet n Wild Redemption video for the technique. You won't even notice. Nope, yeah, seamless. <laughs> So Trixie has previously dragged Pritt sticks through the mud. I, unfortunately, I don't live in America. So we're gonna have to content ourselves with gluing down our brows with Pritt stick. Okay. So from what I've understood, they really get in there. I also bought a lot of the products that Trixie used in the videos I watched. So um, to just to get as accurate as possible. Brush it up. Brush, 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 brush it up. Um, what are you guys going as for Halloween this year in your homes, I ho I assume and hope? Do you want to know what I'm going as? Sadly, I think I already know, but yeah, go for it. <laughs> I'm going to be Maid Spark. <laughs> Good God. Devin's going to be like a waifu version of Spock. It's going to be beautiful. I feel like the gluing down of the brows is like one of the most important parts. Like I, I every time I've tried to do drag makeup on people, the part I always screw up is getting the texture right on the brows. So I think I'm gonna try and um, cover them up now. In most of her videos, she swears by this MAC Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. And I bought this online, obviously, um, and had to kind of guess my shade. So we're gonna just uh, pray to the gods that I got the right shade. <laughs> so I'm gonna see if this works. Not super bad. If you guys don't know who Trixie Mattel is, you're honestly like depriving yourself. <laughs> Trixie Mattel's like the best. She's so funny. She's delusional and I love her. Oh my god, that kind of works. Like on the ca on camera, I don't see I, I don't see brows. That's pretty sick. On camera, zero brow. This kind this is bringing me flashbacks to that time when I shaved off an eyebrow when I was 6 years old accidentally. We're gonna use foundation. I'm actually gonna use a foundation I already had because Trixie normally uses a foundation that's quite expensive and I didn't want to be using like buying a new foundation when I already have a bunch of foundation sticks that I never use. Um, I don't usually wear foundation just in general. It's gonna be the first time I'm using this on my entire face. So uh, let's let's give it a go. My skin is already so screwed up. And it's gonna hate me so much more now. It's gonna be screaming at me. Unfortunately, I don't have the gigantic beauty blenders that Trixie loves. <laughs> They're like the size of her face. So we're gonna have to content ourselves with the baby. <laughs> oh, I'm afraid. I feel like I did such a good job with the bras, I don't wanna mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> I already look crazy. It's, it's fine, we're gonna apply woman on top. Oh yeah, shit. That's a really solid line. <laughs> Blend it out! It kinda looks like you peeled off a layer of skin from someone else's face and put it on your I'm face. wearing a, a skin mask. Okay, now I'm, need to, I'm gonna put the foundation on my brows, like, separately, because I want to be gentle with it. I feel fear. I feel eyebrow fear. <laughs> I love my life. Saturday mornings, am I right, you guys? Have you guys ever seen that TikTok? 
where it's about like straight white women as guest judges on RuPaul's Drag Race. Okay, before we go any further, can I just say, uh, slay, queen, yes, queen, yes, absolutely. I am a gagged, which I assume is good, and if it's not, please cut this. And you are absolutely serving it up. Like, yes, queen, snatched. I'm not, wait, is she snatched or am I snatched? Okay, snatched, gagging. And it's like, honestly, one of the funniest TikToks I think I've ever seen, because it's so true. So for the Wet n Wild video, she uses like a lot of browns and stuff, but I'm going to substitute that for the palette that she uses in the Spooky Yuki makeup, which is this Morphe Just a Crush NJ palette, which I bought specifically for this video as well. And I feel like I'm going to be using this like way after this video because it's just like my kind of palette. I use a lot of like purples and and reds and stuff. So, oh wait, she doesn't actually use this. My bad. Um, this is like the closest palette I got to the one she's actually using because they don't sell it in the UK. So she's going in with like this purple, a shade. So she kind of <sighs> goes in like this. There's a lot of fallout. Okay, this is making me feel better about my brows. It's kind of concealing the all the mistakes I made. I want to get the general shape really good because I feel like that's where the true essence of Trixie lies. <sighs> Not awful. Not great. Not awful though. Okay, so next up we're going to do the under eye situation. Go right here and it goes up to up to here. That's the general shape, I think, from here up to here. She goes like this, up into here. Oh, this is so much fun, you guys. This is exactly what I wanted to do after a full week of work. I'm already dreading having to do this symmetrically on the other eye. <laughs> just, I just already want to die. So then she goes straight into the other eye, and then we're going to do brows. So I'm going to do the same. I'm being so careful on this eyebrow area because I'm scared it's gonna lift up all oh, my careful work on the brows we don't want that I feel like my 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 tactic for this video is if anything goes wrong I'll just cover it in black what if it's on your cheek black <laughs> it's a beauty mark see why is this one so patchy my other one looks so amazing and then and then this one's looking a bit ew you know <laughs> it's fine I feel like this is gonna be like okay in general because I'm usually very good at matching my eyeliner on a day-to-day -day basis in my usual makeup so hopefully I can use those skills in this uh, makeup look hopefully I feel like I match the shape pretty all right the angle at least I th oh I think this is the thing I most dread it's brow time I'm gonna go in with the the brown that comes with the uh, the Morphe palette and use that because it's like a lighter brown so I'm just gonna use that to sketch it out first. Oh, I'm so scared! <sighs> Deep breath. Oh I don't have a forehead big enough. Did you ever think you'd save it? No actually I thought I had so much real estate to work with and it turns out... You look insane. <laughs> Quarantine has not affected me in the slightest. Shut the up! I'm, I'm I'm being so careful. This brow's going right up to my hairline and I don't care. That's not too bad. I'm gonna clean it up when I get to concealer time. But it's not looking too bad. Why have you done the hairs going horizontally? Cause I screwed up, Devin. I'm I'm only human. Okay. But we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep working with it. And um, that's in the true fashion of, of 2020. Oh, they're not even cousins. They've never even met. <laughs> they're just strangers. <laughs> they're just strangers. <laughs> I'll fix it in post. <laughs> okay, so she's going in with the concealers and we're gonna do the same. Okay, now we're talking a little bit better. Now we're communicating. Now we are communicating in a healthy manner. And this here as well. Oh yeah, that works. Oh my god. A reverse Waluigi mustache. <sighs> <laughs> oh 
Why must you bring Waluigi into everything I do? I don't! You do! You sent me that TikTok thirst trap of Waluigi! Be grateful I didn't send you the one of Waluigi dancing to work. Disgusting. I know! We're gonna fix it! What part of we're gonna fix it are you not getting? Gosh, Devin! Okay, we're gonna we're gonna fix the brows now. Yes. Oh, we're gonna do it now. This is it. <sighs> In the middle, yeah. Seamless. I'm just so talented. I'm sure. Yeah. As in why are you still doing this? We're kind of we're kind of pulling pulling through. You know, just like with art, it always looks worse before it gets better. There's always that uncanny stage where you think of giving up and just wonder what was what's the point of going on. But then it pulls through, as is life. Devon, what were you saying about my brows? I wonder though, like, what, I wonder what the percentage of you guys who watch my channel, like, what percentage of you guys watch Drag Race and like drag? Because that's something I've never really, like, talked about on the channel. I think it's very popular within the LGBTQ community. Like, outside, I feel like there's a lot of people who don't know what, like, so many straight people. my stepdad didn't know what drag was your until though? last month. Everyone... Oh, oh, okay, we're contouring now. Um, I think this is a good thing because it's actually gonna force me to clean my brushes for the first time in my life. Uh, so now I'm actually going in with a wet and wild contour thingy majig, and I'm gonna start contouring this face. And again, praying to the gay gods. I've contoured my face like in um, everyday everyday makeup once for like a party and I screwed it up so bad that I never did it again. I don't know why I'm contouring my my chin and my jawline because I already have like no jawline. <laughs> Imagine if I go on my uh, on my run looking like this. Just going for a run in the park with this beat ass face. Okay and now we're gonna do the cut a very tricksy, iconic thing. Well, I mean, it's a very drag thing, I think, now, isn't it? I'm gonna go in back with a cream concealer and draw a line from my mouth straight to my ear. <laughs> gonna make it symmetrical on the other side now. And then I think she does her nose as well. Yeah, while she's at it. So I'm gonna get a smaller brush. Oh wait, I forgot to contour my, my nose. Is that what you're doing now? No, I forgot to do the, the powder contour on my nose, on the sides. Okay, but now it's, now this is when things are gonna start shaking up. Cause we are going to do the, the full, the full thing, the look. And uh, now I'm gonna go in with the Studio Fix powder that we used earlier because I don't have a translucent powder with me. I probably should have thought about that. And then set all this. Five minutes later. Okay, then she just brushes it all off. Okay. <laughs> So we're gonna do the same. Okay, so now with the white NYX gel liner, we're gonna do all the little like tiny details that Trixie does, including like the little lid that she does, which I think is the cutest thing on the planet. This is the most makeup my makeup brushes have seen in their entire lifetime. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try and copy the exact placement. Okay, I think I did it. I feel like I was so chatty at the beginning. And now we're getting to all the like real precision based stuff and I'm just like, I need a moment of silence. Mm -hmm. <laughs> silence in the court. They're not exactly uh, the same. It's okay. It's got character. And now we do under the brows. 
and under here under the eyelid I feel like I'm starting to I'm starting to nail it I feel like I'm starting to get into that kimchi Trixie area don't bring kimchi into this gosh kimchi is a god among men <laughs> not at me slagging off Trixie for the entire video and then being oh, oh my god kimchi is a god among men oh I'm proud of myself kind of proud of that kind of killed it on that one um, now, do I have a white eyeshadow that I can set this with? Yes, I knew it! I always come through for myself. So now I'm gonna go in with a white powder from yet another palette that I have lying around and just set all this white. So now it's liner time. This is, this is, this is it. This is the moment where it all comes together. I have like several black eyeliners that I um, just have lying around that I didn't particularly like when I try them out. So I'm just gonna use them all up. I'm gonna use this one to sketch it out because it was pretty much running out. <sighs> so now I'm just using another darker eyeliner just to make it a bit more visible. So do you see the entire area I'm gonna have to fill up with eyeliner? Do you see that? That's a lot of liner. So now I have to try and make this match on this side do you like the trick for these kinds of things is to start off small because you can always go bigger to match oh wait that kind of matches oh my goodness we've got a pretty even liner on each side i'm gonna fill it in one eternity later I feel like I'm done with the liners. Now I'm gonna set this with uh, black eyeshadow. Oh, yeah. Yes! Oof, the difference though. The difference between right and left. Look at that. No shine, shine. No shine, shine. Right? Oh, uh huh. I like how long your shapes are. <laughs> Do you know what? It's it. I had to make them long because my face isn't as like wide as as Trixie's because I've got a, a a feminine skull, I guess, a feminine Is face. A woman. I'm a woman. Yes, I feel it. <laughs> I feel the fantasy, and I think we do blush and then lashes. So now for lashes, I got a like big pack of eyelashes that were kind of like the biggest ones they had at Boots um, that I'm gonna try and stack real quick. I know she has a whole tutorial on how to stack eyelashes, but I, I don't have the time. So I'm gonna do a quick job of it and, and hope to God it works. So I've got some black card and I'm gonna cut out some, uh, I'm following a, a tutorial by Makeup by Echo to make some really big lashes. Cause I kind of wanna live that full fantasy, you know? I've got all my different lashes. I'm gonna start the stack, the stacking. I've made the lashes, but now I'm really scared of taking them out of the lash thing because I'm scared they're gonna just rip apart. But I made them. You just want proof before they fall. Yeah, apart. I'm just showing you guys for the record. I made the lashes and they look fierce. I'm just scared of uh, taking them off to apply on my face. Never put lashes on before. I don't know if you can tell. The wonkiest lash I ever did see. But it's on. Oh my god, but I kind of did it though. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Oh! Okay. It's time for lipstick. In the spirit of Halloween, we're gonna do a dark lip. Um, and Trixie obviously overlines her lips, but I need to see how much. Oh, 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 okay. A lot. Okay. That's not bad. 
I look like Raven right now. And now for the liquid lipstick. I'm using a, oh God, all the label has come off of this, but I think it's an Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, matte lipstick in tulle. Drag queens must use so much product. It's quite crazy. Ah! We went a bit rogue. We're gonna have to match the other side. It's okay, we got this. <laughs> At me doing this. <laughs> Not even reaching <laughs> off the lips. God! Uh, so now for the hair, I'm gonna do something that literally is this one of the scariest things for me Which I think fits in with Halloween, which is um, Teasing the absolute crap out of it while it's dry and brushing through it Because I want to go bold with the hair because Trixie always uses like really huge wigs So I'm gonna go do that and put on a cute top and then um, I'll see you when I get back. Oh Oh my god, I look beautiful. So this is the final look. I feel like I honestly killed it. Like, honestly, I thought this was going to be an absolute disaster. Um, but it was only a mild disaster. So I feel like I kind of turned it. And I definitely go to a, ha to a Halloween party looking like this. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. I feel like I kind of killed it. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys are going to be for Halloween. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm not going to eat a whole last pizza meal wearing this look and feel fabulous. Happy Halloween, you guys. Stay safe. Bye-bye. This feels right.